Grog 3 versus Gemini 2.0 versus Perplexity versus Quen 2.5 Max. Who wins? Let's find out today. We're going to get straight into the testing. And the first thing we're going to test is the image generation on each. So I'm going to say inside Grog 3, picture of a UFC style gladiator battle between AI robots in a packed arena. We'll do the same on Perplexity now. By the way, to generate images inside Perplexity, we can just go to generate images in the bottom right. And then we can select photograph and that will start generating like so. Inside AI Studio, this is where we can access Gemini 2.0. So let's go with Gemini 2.0 Flash, the newest model from Google, and we'll plug in the same prompt. And then we'll run this inside Quen 2.5 Max. By the way, these are all good models that I like. They're all very underrated. Like, for example, not many people talk about using Quen 2.5 Max as well. Totally underrated tool that's actually really powerful, like you can see. So let's see what we got here. The images from grok 3 this one is pretty cool to be fair like that's interesting it's like a scene from a movie almost looks very cool let's have a look at perplexity perplexity is not known for image generation honestly i wouldn't say that's the best image i would say that's a pretty cool image look at some of these images here to be fair all of this beats chat gpt when it comes to image generation gemini's is pretty cool and you've got quen 2.5 maxes as well which is really cool so if I had to rate them, I'm going to go with Perplexity first, actually. I really like this style. You've got the Colosseum in Rome falling apart, fire in the background. These two images really... This one is pretty cool, too. It just lacks a little bit of character. That's what I would say. But Gemini's image generation there is good. I like Grox, but the characters are just looking away from each other, which kind of feels too weird. And then finally, we have the image from Quen 2.5 Max. It just feels a little bit weird, like they've got multiple arms. The character, the people in the background look a little bit cartoonish. I'm going to put that last. Next up, we're going to be using the play. Next up, so Grok came in third right there. Let's test the deep search method of research. So we're going to say, tell me about the latest Grok 3 release. Turn it into a beautifully designed report with emojis, headlines, and subheadings. We'll do the same inside Perplexity. Now, one thing you have to note here is when I'm doing this is we'll be testing the research methods from all of these out. However, what I would say here is like Grok and Perplexity are actually built for deep search methods, right? Whereas inside Gemini, the way that we're going to do this is with a deep research. So they have a deep research AI research system. So we have to select 1.5 Pro. So we have to go to Gemini. Then we actually have to upgrade to Gemini Advanced. And I'm going to take one for the team here and sign up. So if we go inside Gemini now, we're going to go to 1.5 Pro with Deep Research. And then we can test this out. But bear in mind, this is only available on the paid plan of Gemini. So Perplexity does it for free, which is a massive win. Grok 3 does it for free as well. Massive win there. Gemini, you actually have to pay for Deep Research reports. But we're going to go with that anyway. We'll start the research. I do like the way it's planned out and then you approve it before you get the research report back. Now, Quen 2.5 Max is not really built for this, but what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, tell me about the latest Grok 3 release using the web search feature inside Quen and we'll see what we get back there. Now, we've got the results back from Grok 3, so that was pretty quick here. It's talked about all the headlines, etc., and it's planned out and shown us each part of the process, right? So it's first, we're thinking, exploring the user requests, researching Grok 3, etc. Then if we go down to the key points, got some nice bullet points there, super useful. We've got the release overview. It's really easy to understand this. It's got accurate dates. The data is useful. It's got some nice sources, nice benchmarks table. Look at that, that's beautiful. So we've got the benchmarks again, 3, Grok 3, Mini Beta, GPT-40, Gemini 2.0, DeepSeek, and Claude Sonnet. And it's really easy for us to compare inside this research report. I want to say that's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. In the, the the only thing that I would say about this is there's no real personality inside there. It's not that interesting to read. If we have a look inside Perplexity, this has a lot more sources. So you can see here we've got like just in the first paragraph, we've got six sources, nice bullet points, good benchmark comparison of Grok 2 versus Grok 3. And then it's got the key benchmarks again in a nice little table comparing GPT-40, 2.9 Pro and DeepSeek R1. Then it's also talked about some real world applications, the long-term vision and the future development roadmap, right? So what I like about this versus say Grok is that if you look at Grok's report, it's not that interesting to read. It's not that well formatted. So I'm actually going to go with Perplexity, winning on the deep research method, then Grok 3 so far. We're still waiting for Gemini to come back to us. To be fair, Quen 2.5 maxes 
report is really good like the way it's nicely formatted it's easy to read you've got the sources on the left on the right hand side here there's no tables or comparison of benchmarks but it does have the latest date and timelines here so it knows what's happened recently which is good what i also think is great about gemini though to be fair is it can actually look at youtube videos you see how it sourced youtube one two three four five times inside the content i think that's great because for me personally like i don't really read blogs anymore but I will watch YouTube tutorials on new releases just to get the latest updates from it. To me, that's a really positive sign. But let's see what we get back. The other cool thing here is like inside Gemini, you can also open this up in a Google Doc. And then you've got this seven page report like you can see right here on the latest updates from Grok. I don't think enough people have talked about the deep research release from Gemini, but it's actually looking really good. Like you can see, nice and easy to read. Lots of good data there. I do not like this table though look at this so it has the benchmarks grok 3 competitor 1 competitor 2 but there's no scores for like deep seek the actual report here is not useful at all so it's failed on the table of research right there so for example like most of the table is blank you're not really sure what's the score that deep seek or gpt40 got and also this is not the most relevant model to grok 3 when we're comparing science right we want to be looking at deep seek r1 versus grok 3 not deep seek version 3 applications use cases is decent a lot of good sources there overall not that overall though i wouldn't say that's as anywhere near as good as perplexity right so perplexity wins the research report grok 3 comes in second gemini comes in third and then quen 2.5 max comes in last and and gemini would have done a lot better but the table comparing the key benchmarks across all the ai models isn't useful at all right if you had to turn that research report in it's just going to be a fail so now we're going to test grok3 versus the rest to write a python script of a ball bouncing inside a spinning tesseract we'll plug that into grok same into perplexity the gemini advanced and then finally into quen 2.5 max as well and let's see how we do here so one of the things that i do like about the ui and grok is it actually gives you a countdown timer so it tells you how long it's been thinking for plus all the updates along the way. It actually looks like perplexity has totally failed. So it says, here's a Python script that creates an animation of a ball bouncing. But there's no script there. No Python code, mate. What are we going to do with that? So it looks like perplexity's already failed. Let's have a look at Gemini. Gemini is giving us Python script as well, using 2.9 Flash. And then Quen 2.5 Max as well is building it out. Also, I like Quen 2.5 Max because it has an artifacts feature, but it seems to be really buggy. Look at that. That is not what we're looking for right there. So let's see what we get back from Grok. We're still waiting for it to load. It's been 81 seconds, but we can take the code from Gemini. That seems to be really fast and just test this out. If you ever want to preview Python code online, Trinkit.io is pretty good. I'm just going to plug in the Python code and then we'll run this. This is a code from Gemini. Let's see what we got. So setting up now. It's not what we're looking for, right? We've got a dot bouncing around inside the tesseract but we can't actually see the tesseract not particularly useful now we've got the code back from grok so let's test this out and grok actually did it right look at that ball bouncing inside a spinning tesseract grok is the only one the one there right so grok actually gave us a working model gemini it gave us a bouncing ball but it didn't give us a tesseract so it didn't give us a 3d rotation of the 3d shape same with quen so it failed because look at that there's no real you're not really that's not what we're looking for at all and then perplexity just didn't give us anything, but it stated it did. So the only one that really did it properly was Grok3 there, using the think mode. Next up, now we're going to create a one-page website for our new service, video SEO ranking service. So I'm going to plug this in. It's got some information about me, who I am, etc. We used the thinking mode as well, just because we're coding again. Let's ask Gemini to do the same. We can test this out with Quen 2.5 Max artifacts feature. And then we'll use the reasoning mode with deep with O3 Mini, I think is best for this. I used to use Deep Seek R1 a lot, but it just doesn't seem to perform when I've done recent tests versus before. And that's the thing about this whole game, right? There could be an update this week, say ChatGPT or OpenAI releases GPT 4.5, and all of a sudden that's the best model in the game. That's how fast this moves. It's literally every seven days. This is why I'm constantly posting updates. There's a new tool that's better than the previous one. So Quen 2.5 Max has come back with the goods now. Let's pull this full screen, we can have a look here. So I love the fact that you can just preview the web page directly, but as you can see, the design is a little bit basic, but it is all personalized to us. It's got the pop-up as well. It's okay, it's not bad, it's okay. I wouldn't host it like that. I'd probably have to go back and forth with Quen 2.5 Max. 
a lot more. Now I've got the code back from Gemini. Let's test it out. We've got the JS as well. That is looking a lot better, right? So we've got the pop-up, we've got the landing page, 10 times better than what you get back from Quen 2.5 Max. The design is nice, the font is nice. We can't X off the pop-up, but if you look at the actual design in the background, it looks 10 times better. All the emojis and everything like that, right? Exact same prompt, but you can see a huge difference between what you get back from Gemini Advanced versus what you get back from Quen 2.5 Max. Now I've got the code back from Perplexity, so let's test this out. Now this is using GPT-03 Mini. So we've grabbed the CSS and then we grab the HTML as well. And I really don't like the design of this. If we look at this again, if we compare it versus a Gemini, so Gemini's code is right here. It looks great. Like this would be ready to publish, honestly. Whereas if we look at the code from Perplexity using GPT-03 Mini, you just wouldn't publish that, right? Look how the buttons are overlapping, the sentences, the content super bland, white on white text and white background. When has that ever been a good idea? I would say that's Quen 2.5 Max and Perplexity coming in last right there. Let's check out Grok 3's content. So we've got the code right here. I also like the fact that it's actually just giving us a complete code inside HTML. So we've got the CSS and the JS built in. It's not bad. I would say that's better than Quen 2.5 Max's, but worse than Gemini's, right? Gemini is still dominating. So for coding, by a long way, Gemini Advanced 2.0 Flash Thinking Experimental is winning the race here. If you want to get free access to this, by the way, just go to aistudio.google.com and then from the list, you can select Gemini 2.0 Experimental Pro right there or Flash Thinking Experimental and you can get access to these models for free. You don't have to pay for Gemini Advanced. But yeah, it blew everything out of the water and Quen came in third from what I can see is very basic and with perplexity coming out last. Now inside Grok, we're gonna run this prompt for creating content like you can see. So we're gonna create an SEO optimized article for this, keyword equals Grok3 AI SEO. Let's plug that in, see what we get back. And um, we'll run the same thing through Gemini. I'm just gonna use 2.0 Flash for this because you don't need a thinking model to create content. We'll do the same inside Quen 2.5 Max. I'm actually gonna allow web search as well so it can create the content. And then we'll do the same inside perplexity. We'll select auto for the search and then we'll give it the same prompt. All right, so Grok has already come back with the goods. So his Gemini is really fast. So actually planned out the content, then the outline. The only thing I don't like about the content from Gemini here is number one, it, it's not really SEO optimized, right? So if you look at the content section, it says, let's get straight to it. You're probably wondering, is Grok 3 ASEO gonna make my job obsolete? Or maybe how do I even use this stuff? He's not very useful, right? If we look at the content from Grok, it's got a nice heading, nice introduction. It's all personalized to me. It's quite humanized. Let's have a look at Quen 2.5 Max. This is more like it, right? This is what you're looking for. So you've got a nice little header. It's got a nice little hook, and then it gets straight into the content. Now, the other problem with Gemini's content here is it's very short. There's no headings. It's not nicely formatted, and it's super basic. Perplexity's content is pretty good as well. So it's Grok 3. AI, the ultimate SEO game changer, here's the content. This is super subjective, right? So what I might like in an article, you might not like, but what I would say here is like Quen 2.5 Max is winning. Perplexity comes in second. Grok 3 comes in third. I just don't, it's just a really long intro with loads of fluff that doesn't help. So I don't, and then Gemini is just full of like random bullet points and there's not even a, there's not even an article header right there. So. Gemini is coming in last for that. Little bonus tip here, right? If you're going to create content, I would actually recommend Claude out of all of these. I think it wipes the floor with all four models. So if I plug in the exact same prompt, the content is way more humanized. It reads better. It's nicely formatted. It's created on the canvas. It's free to use Claude. And it is by far the best content writer that I've seen out there. So let's compare who won, who didn't, and round up. So we had four contenders. Grok 3, Gemini 2.0, Perplexity and Quen 2.5 max. Round one for image generation. Perplexity won and came in first. Quen 2.5 max came in last. Just a little bit too cartoonish and weird proportions. Whereas Perplexity did the epic Colosseum battle and great atmosphere. For deep research, Perplexity also won. So it had the most sources, the best structure and great benchmarks. Grok 3 actually came in second. So it's still a decent option. And, this, and when it came to Python coding, Grok3 was the only one to generate a working Tesseract model. Perplexity came in fourth, so it's not great for Python coding. Grok3 is probably the best option for that, along with Gemini. Gemini 2.0 
was closest behind, but honestly, none of them compared to Grub 3. Website creation, Gemini 2.0 by a long way was the best. Clean design, well structured, best overall. The rest were nowhere near as polished as Gemini 2.0. And then for SEO content writing, Quen 2.5 Max was actually the best. Perplexity came in second and it was still strong. Grok 3 was a bit fluffy and then Gemini 2.0 just had random bullet points. It was short and it had no headings. Who won? What was the tie between Perplexity and Grok 3? So Grok 3 and Perplexity drawed at the top. Perplexity is great for image generation, deep research. Grok 3 is really good for Python coding. Bear in mind, Perplexity and Grok 3 are free models. Whereas, for example, for coding with Gemini 2.0, you need to upgrade to advanced along with deep research. So there we go. Let me know what you think in the comments. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get all the prompts from today, make sure you join the AI Profit Boardroom. Link in the comments description. This comes with an awesome classroom and loads of cool stuff, including email and content automation, social media, AI agents, web automation and scraping, Q&A call recordings, a crash course on how to save hundreds of hours and make money with AI. And also all of my best SOPs I've created, right? Every single day we update this with one to two new SOPs. And if you go inside the Grok3 versus ChatGPT, you can, you'll find all the prompts from today. Additionally, this comes with like loads of SPs on like how to make $100 DeepSeek, NA10 agent workflows, a three hour, 45 minute course on exactly how to use DeepSeek. Like everything you can ever imagine is all inside here. And it's being updated daily along with a community of 189 business owners all interested in growing their business and scaling, saving hundreds of hours with AI. By the way, we did an update 19 hours ago and it was the third update in the last three days, right? So we're just constantly posting new stuff inside here that you can learn from. And additionally, if you go to the calendar section, you can actually jump on weekly Q&A calls with me. Next one is in less than 48 hours. So make sure you sign up now so you don't miss out on that. Link in the comments description. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we tear websites from zero to 145,000 visits this month, and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot feel free to get that on this free link building acceleration session you'll get a free seo domination plan so you'll get a custom tailored link building plan to generate more lead sales and profits from your website you'll discover the secrets of seo link building or answer any questions you have one-to-one -one. you'll learn the best link building strategy for your website plus how to quickly our ranking competitors to link building and how to turn seo traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients like you can see right here feel free to get that link in the comments description appreciate you watching bye bye